Yeah, this was fine. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hold it down. <laughs> yeah, they like, I don't think it's Hi everybody, welcome back to Dana of All Trades. It has been so long since I recorded a new video for this YouTube channel because I've been working on content for my kids' channel, Auntie's Castle. So we drop weekly activities with Auntie and it's specifically for the littles. If you haven't done so, head on over to Auntie's Castle and make sure you subscribe. Today we are going to talk about Wrapping 101. If you're a pro rapper, uh, this video is not for you. This is for newbie rapper people. We're gonna be wrapping a box, pretty simple. One thing to note with the tape, I do not have the tape that I like. I have this stupid like smoky tape. You want like really crisp, clear tape. Cause I can see these on my wrapping paper and I have a little bit of OCD and it literally makes me lose sleep at night. All right, so let's get into it. So you're going to put your gifts on your paper, rolling it out, rolling it out. And what you want to do is get it lined up to where you can fold over your paper. And I always give like a couple inches, but that way that's where we know to make our cut. Another hack is to get the wrapping paper that has the lines because it makes it really easy to cut. Now the next step is to bring your gift all the way to the edge and fold up the side and you want it to be at about halfway. About halfway on this paper is about two boxes or about two inches. So then on the other side, I'm gonna cut two inches out. Pro tip with wrapping any gifts, you don't want extra wrapping paper because then your gifts will not fold as nicely. You'll have all this extra added bulk. All right, so now we have the appropriate size paper that we're going to use and you're going to flip your present upside down. Put our box in the middle. Again, the, this one is lined, so it's super simple to make sure it's in the exact middle. Now we're gonna fold up one end. Once I have it folded, I like to crease the corner too. The key here is to keep it super tight. Every time I use tape, I always think about this one episode of The Office where Pam is like telling Roy that if he uses more than three pieces of tape to wrap a gift, he's doing it wrong. I think about that a lot because I use an insane amount of tape for all my gifts because I like them super tight. One side is just taped a little bit more than halfway. That side can be jaggedy. It doesn't have to be perfect because now this side is going to cover it. So as of right now, it's going up to about three quarters of the way. I'm gonna fold it down so it's like perfectly halfway. And then two, there's no jagged cut edge. It's like a perfectly refined edge. This is probably where Pam uses one piece of tape. I use two. So then you just tape it, tape it twice, tape it once if you're Pam. All right, this is where we're at so far. We have perfectly refined back, but then the sides are still open. So now we're gonna fold in the sides. You fold the top down. Again, using more tape. I tape it down so it stays in place. And then I crease these side little wing guys. Then you fold those in. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra fancy, I'll even tape these down. I'm feeling a little fancy right now, so I'm gonna tape them down so they're just extra flat and perfect. Same thing on this side. Just keeps everything really snug and tight. If it's baggy, it's just not gonna look as good. So we got our sides folded down like this. Now we're gonna take this flap and fold it up. But there's jagged edges here, so we're just gonna fold it down and give us a nice, perfect end. Jesus Christ, man. A nice, perfect edge. My dad taught me how to wrap, and he's like crazy psycho with his wrapping, which is probably like a hack that I do too, where I like to buy wrapping paper that matches my house. So if you haven't noticed, it's black and white. It's gonna match with my house. But my dad, he will spend so much time picking out the perfect wrapping paper and then the label. The label always has to match. So if it's Santa wrapping paper, you bet your ass he's going to search high and low to find the perfect Santa label. It's just necessary. So obviously that's where I get it from. So this is what the edge looks like, super perfectly tucked. Now we just repeat the same thing on the other side. And there you go. Look at this box. 
I don't even know. I think dad would be proud. It's pretty perfect. Then you get your label, you get your bows and your ribbons if you want. I don't get fancy like that, but it's done. All right guys, I hope you found this YouTube video helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Dana of All Trades, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.